Welcome back to the Coyote Car Channel. Today, in this quick tip, I'm going to show you how to take this valve and turn it into this refurbished shiny new valve. There's only a few things that you need for this job. The first one is a drill. You need a razor blade so that way you can cut off some of the hard grime, some paper towel, and some 000 grade steel wool. And of course you need the dirty valve that you're going to be cleaning. So what I always do is I take the valve and I inspect it and see if there's any kind of heavy debris left on it. So I can see here that there's a little bit of heavy debris right about there. And so what I can do is I can take my blade and you never want to touch this edge of the surface. It's kind of beveled at an angle. And it's right here and it goes all the way around. That's what creates your seal right there. And you never want to scratch that. But it's okay to get this stuff up here on the top. Like that. And just carefully kind of pick that off of there. It reduces your turbulence when you remove those big chunks like that. After you've removed all the big chunks, the next thing you want to do is take a little bit of paper towel and wrap it around the base like that. You want to make sure that you don't put too much on there because the next thing you're going to do is you're actually going to put it down into your drill and I've put too much there so there goes my life in a bag is put it down into your drill. So once you've got it in your drill, you want to chuck it up by hand. And by chuck it up by hand, I mean you want to turn the chuck and tighten it by hand. You don't want to turn it on and pull the trigger and then hold it and try and chuck it up that way. Because you could do damage to it. So once you have it all chucked in there, you want to take your steel wool and you want to place it on your knee like this. And then you want to turn it on and then slowly run it in to the steel wool but only on the center and then work your way out to the side a little bit so that way it doesn't catch it and rip it out of your hand like this once you've done that for a few seconds then what you can do is take it up here on the shank and wrap it around it and then turn the drill on and go up and down slowly. And then take a little bit more on here and wrap it around so that way you have a little bit more room to push down flat so you can push more onto the valve, to the top of the valve. And you just do the same thing. Pull some pressure on it. And then assess where you're at. So you can see we've come a long way from where it was. There's still some carbon on the bottom here. But for the most part, the whole upper area here, I'm not sure what that's called exactly, but this area on top is a... Uh, looking really good. There's no heavy debris on there or anything like that. Nothing just nothing to disrupt the airflow. So the next thing that we're going to focus our attention on is the bottom here. And what we're going to do like we did in the beginning for the heavy debris is we're just going to take our blade and slowly just kind of scrape off a little bit here on the bottom. You don't want to dig in too deep but as long as you keep on this surface here this isn't a ceiling surface, so it'll be okay. And you just want to go around and just scrape off all the heavy carbon, because carbon attaches to carbon and grime. Carbon doesn't have anything attached to, and it won't stay. It'll go out your exhaust valves. And you don't have to get these things perfect, but depending on what you're doing, you might want to. Then what you're going to do is just the same thing again. You're going to take it and put it on your knee like this. And 
run the drill up until it cuts off the rest of that carbon. And that's how you clean up all the carbon on your old valves. If you like this quick tip, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button, as well as a like if you like the video. And go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. I upload content twice a week, quick tip on Wednesday, and usually a full episode every Friday.